Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing my ever so requested updated makeup collection for 2016. This video has taken me far too long to film but here it is because obviously I went to IMATS recently and also guys recently I had a humongous clear out, like I mean massive, like goodbye to pretty much Oh, I would say over half of my stuff. Um, so it felt good. I've still got obviously a ton of makeup. Like I, this is still an unrealistic amount for one person, but it was, you know, it was a crazy amount of stuff. And the fact was I wasn't using it all cause I had too much stuff to use. So this is what I've condensed it down to. It might look quite similar to the last one, but there is a lot of new products, a little bit of a different organization technique in a sense. And a lot of you have also asked about the makeup that I have got rid of. A lot of it obviously I did throw out because it was older and it was used but there is also some pieces that I have that were limited edition that were only barely used, some lipsticks that were only swatched and I've gone ahead and sold some of those on my Depop. So if you're into Depop obviously or go check out my Instagram you can see where it is over there um, and I've just sold some stuff on there and I think that's just basically where I'm going to keep putting stuff when I don't really need it anymore. So without further ado let's get into my makeup collection for 2016. Alright, so first of all, I thought I'd give you guys a little overview of my vanity. So this is just the top of it right here. I did go into a little bit about where the vanity's from and everything in my room tour video. So if you want to see about that, then obviously go ahead and click the link in the description to go and see the tour of this room. But I really love the vanity in general. It's the one I've had the past couple of makeup collection videos and yeah, I just I really, really like it. So because this is the makeup collection, I'm just going to talk about, first of all, the brushes. So here is some of the brushes that I have. I don't like that they're all on display because I do have a ton and in fact this isn't all of them I do keep some of them in the drawer down here um, but these are the ones I've got so far these are what I did basically is these two are kits as you guys know from Sigma I like to keep the kits within the kits um, rather than moving them so over here we got a bunch of real techniques real techniques ones um, and then we have a bunch more Sigma ones in the back some Max and Bare Minerals just random ones and then of course we have the actual Sigma brushes so the blue kit is the Sigma Sigmax um, 12 piece travel essentials kit and then this is the mini make me blush travel kit as well from Sigma that is I believe a seven piece I think I can't go through all these brushes but these ones here are the bold metals real techniques brushes um, and there's just a bunch of them in there and I've just washed them so they look lovely <laughs> and there's just a bunch and there's also a bunch of Sigma copper ones in the back there too so that is just my whole cluster of brushes so I think I want to start with this drawer here so if I go ahead and open this up it looks a little something like this. This is slightly different from last time. I did have these organizers in here, which you can see. These are from, um, where are they from? They're from HomeSense. And they've got this beautiful pattern in there, which you can sort of see. And if you look at my bedding, it actually matches my bedding amazingly. So yeah, I really like that. I just literally actually only noticed that, if I'm honest. This is what is inside the drawer. So again, I have tried to keep this drawer my favourite, favourite go-to products um, because this is obviously where I sit and it is the sort of first drawer I open up when I want to do my makeup. So starting over in the back here, this is just where I keep my bits and bobs of skincare. So I tend to only have little ones. I have some oils, I have an eye cream, I love Liz Earl, Origins, Estee Lauder, Lancome um, and some Dove skincare in there and I just keep them like the little pot size ones in there because I'm not a massive skincare junkie um, but I do like to try out some bits now and again. Then right here I keep my most used palettes so these two here are some of my favorites the Sigma um, palettes so you've got those two which is the warm neutrals and the uh, that's warm neutrals and then this one is the smoke screen palette again two amazing palettes I have my Kat Von D shade and light of course of obviously have to have that one of my favorites I have my Z palette which is full up of the benefit um, box blush uh, blushes that I depotted I then have my new palette which is the balm voyage 
the Bon Voyage palette, which I've actually been really liking the eyeshadows, and the bronzer in here is like one of my favourites, so that's been up the front recently. Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, of course. Then I have my MAC palette with my MAC eyeshadows in it. I have three more to go to fill it up. And then both of my Gwen Stefani um, Urban Decay palettes, the blush and the eyeshadow palettes. And then if we move across here, this is where the two organizers start. So this is one organizer and this is another one. So basically they come in now and again. I can't tell you if they're going to be in your home since or Tiki Max. Just go have a look. They've always got a bunch of these sort of storage boxes and stuff. So I have a little acrylic container here which I keep my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge in here and then I also keep my Beauty Blender. So I've got the Micro Mini and I also have the regular Beauty Blender in here which actually this is brand new. I've not actually used it yet. I got it at iMats. And then my Essentials, which is my Scandinavia Makeup Priming and Makeup Setting Sprays. Obsessed with those, can't live without them. Then in here we have my eyelash curlers. There's just, um, they're both from, no, that's Elf and that's Love Me Beauty, and then two sharpeners. And then this is a bit of a random one. It's just um, my new YSL Miracle Blur, um, what is it called? Miracle Blur, I don't know gel cream thing. You just put it over when you're a little bit oily and you want a bit of um, mattifying. And then we have my favourite Makeup Forever HD um, high definition powder and also the Ben Nye Banana Powder. At the back here has got to be one of my favourite little drawers. It's got my four Stargazer glitters in it and then it also has all of my MAC pigments. So these are just some of them that I've got in there. I absolutely love my pigments so, so much. That's why they have to be in the front drawer. Then if we come on over here, this is my little highlighter section. So we have in here my basically can't live without highlighters now. So this is my Laura Geller Gilded Honey. You guys know all about this one. It is like so amazing. I used it in my iMats tutorial if you want to see it in action. We then also have the Becca Jaclyn Hill Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. And then we have the um, Guerlain Meteorites Compact, um, which is actually friggin' beautiful. Look at that. Um, which is just another very subtle highlight. We then have a YSL limited edition highlight, which again is just a shimmery pink. And then we have a NARS duo in Hungry Heart that is also a highlight. And then the one cream highlight I have in here is my Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination, and this is absolute liquid gold. It is amazing. Moving back here, we have some of my pan bronzers. So most of my bronzers obviously are in the contour kits, but this one is actually the ones that are in um, in their own packaging. So I also have the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, for cream concealer, not cream concealer, cream contouring. I also have the NARS, um, what's it called, multiple stick in Malaysia. I then have a small version of the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. And then we have my new Urban Decay bronzer, uh, beach bronzer, amazing, I love this stuff. Too Faced Poolside Primping, Guerlain, um, just Terracotta, and then two Too Faced um, bl 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 Blush and Bronzer duos. And then in the very back there, I have my very, very favourite and well-loved Marc Jacobs Light Perfecting Contour Powder. That's what it's called. Couldn't even think. And then I have my Naked Basics in the back and also my Limited Edition Cinderella MAC Eyeshadow Palette. So we'll just close this drawer. Okay, so I did decide to go to the tripod. My hand was absolutely killing me and obviously I want to show you guys like in the picture what I'm talking about. So we're at a really fun angle here so you'll be able to see what is in these Muji drawers that I have on my um, actual vanity. So these are two sets of the two drawers that are just about maybe I'd say 5 cm deep. So they're not very deep drawers, but they are deeper than the ones you'll be able to see over here a little bit later. If we go ahead, the top drawer is my high-end foundations. So I like to sort of minimalize and to keep myself sort of in, you know, in shape, <laughs> not in shape, in, in form with my makeup collection. I limit myself to only filling this drawer and the bottom drawer with foundations. No more. If one comes in, one's got to go. That's the rule. So in here I've got two Guerlain foundations, the Lingerie de Poe and the Tente de Perfection. I also have my YSL Tante Resist, which is a little bit more tan, so it's my tan foundation. 
my new Urban Decay Naked Skin that I got at iMats in a couple of weeks ago. And then this is my obviously Estee Lauder Double Wear. Everyone's got a staple of that in there. This is my summer foundation, which is the Terracotta Jolie Tint, uh, which is a lovely medium uh, foundation. And then my Colt, obviously, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, of course. All right, so the next drawer down, if I open this one up, oh, it has to open all the way so you can see. So in here, I have got my, of course, Bourjois Healthy um, Healthy Mix Foundation. This is just a really nice, easy go-to. We then have my new L'Oreal Lumi Magique, which is a really nice sort of dewy skin foundation. I love the rose gold packaging. The color as well is really good match to me. We have this, which I haven't actually opened yet. This is the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control uh, Foundation. I like using this in summer because, of course, it's more oil control. And then over here we have another tan foundation, which is a old one, but it is still a goodie. This is my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 220. Then I have two BB creams in here, the Physician's Formula Super BB and the Super Aqua Hydra BB by Guerlain as well. And finally, um, I have on this row the Sephora uh, Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation, which I got while I was in the States. In the back we have two hiding as well. From the States, this is the L'Oreal True Match. Absolutely amazing because they have neutral tones and I am absolutely a neutral tone. So that was a like one of the best foundations I have ever, ever had from the drugstore. And then we have the L'Oreal Nude Magique Eau de Tint. I nearly chucked this out because I sort of had a one hit wonder time with that. Um, but I have come back to absolutely loving it. So that is my two drawers of foundations. So if we open up this drawer down here, this is the random drawer that I sort of have. I couldn't bring myself to throw anything out, but I also couldn't, well not, I did throw out a lot of stuff, but I did think I need to make better use of this drawer. So in here I just have some cult products. I've got my Tarte Maracuja Oil, which I use to mix together with foundations um, when they, I want them a little bit more dewy. I then have my two Murad products, my Oil Control Mattifier Moisturizer with the SPF, and also my Murad Ble Blemish Clearing Solution. This is fantastic stuff if you suffer with a few spots, especially me, I have only hormonal break hormonal even breakouts on my chin and this is amazing I just use it on my chin we have the elf HD mattifying cream foundation this is great for if I know I'm just having a filming day and I want to quickly put on some makeup that will do really well with the camera um, I'll go ahead and quickly grab this one as you can see it is well loved um, and it's very easy to grab and just use and obviously pat your brush in and you're done then we have two of my favourite blushes in the whole entire world and they are some of the most affordable, however they're not easy to find. Um, this is the like, best, oh sorry if you can hear the wind, it's very windy all of a sudden. Um, this is the Fox in a Box by Hard Candy and this is in Smooth Talker, you guys have heard me talk about this a million times, it's so beat up because it is one of my absolute favourite products. And then we also have the famous one which was the Sweet and Spicy which is a little bit more pink, but again, it is a really, really nice, um, subtle colour. We then have Benefit Hervana and also Benefit Hula in the boxes there as well. Finally, let's open the bottom drawer, by the way, if you're wondering about this crack, yes, look at my room tour. I actually cracked this vanity and it bothers me so much. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, please. Um, this is the bottom drawer here where I keep my primers, so... This right here is three Guerlain ones because I've told you guys how obsessed I am with the Guerlain um, primers. So, well, this first one actually is my moisturizer. So it's the Meteorites uh, Oxygen Care Moisturizer and Radiance Booster. This is an absolute cult, cult, cult product. Um, and then we have the Little Balls, which is the Luminous Base. And then we have the Laure, which this is in the older packaging, if you're wondering, which is just the, um, the gel one with the pure gold flakes in it. We have my new Too Faced Hangover Primer, which again, I really, really love this. It is a great like smell formula. It feels amazing, absolutely everything. Then have Smashbox Photo Finish. This is great if I'm having a photo day or a filming day. Max Factor Face Affinity. I kept this because I tried it once and I, had, I it felt a little bit funny on my skin, but I don't know if that's just because I was having a bad time, but I might end up throwing this out if I try it again and I get the same reaction. And then this is nearly done. This is my L'Oreal Nude Magic blur cream and then at the back here I have a makeup forever uh, mattifier as well 
All right, so we've moved on over to now the thinner drawers. We just looked in these ones right here, but now we're over to, again, Muji, but these are the five set of drawers, and these are the more shallow ones. So there's two sets here, giving me 10 drawers in total. This is where I hold the majority of my makeup. Obviously, a lot of stuff won't fit in here, but mainly like eyeliners, mascaras, uh, no, sorry, not eyeliners, eyeliners, powders, lip products, um, eyeshadows, they all fit in here quite nicely. So let's just start from the uh, top down. So the top drawer has actually takes a little bit to open because it's got my Guerlain products in it, which um, are a little bit more bulky, so they only just barely fit in here. But this is what the drawer looks like. So it's just got, to be honest, a mix match of different lip products in here. So I've got my Too Faced Melted um, Liquid Lipsticks in the back just over here. We have three colours. I don't know what's actually happened to my nude one, which is my favourite. Um, but it's somewhere. Um, and then we have, again, my Guerlain. This is actually discontinued now. This is their, um, what's it called? Rouge G. And basically, guys, if you've never seen this before, it's so cool. It pops up and it opens up like that. You twist it and it is a liquid matte lipstick. Um, but they don't actually do these anymore, so that's such a shame. But um, that was that one. And then this, again, is the lipstick version of it. So it just opens up like a compact and there's the lipstick. I have a lip tar in here. This is just a darker, um, sort of really, really dark red colour. And then I also have a nude one. And this is full size, whereas the other one was just a size that came in my Sephora uh, favourites kit. Then I have the Guerlain Lip Lift. I have the Guerlain um, Rouge Automatic, which pops up like that. I have my Elizabeth Arden. This is such a really nice colour. It's so nice, as you can see, by how much I've used, um, which is in Pale Petal. I then have a Too Faced Baby Doll. What's it called? Not Baby Doll. Naked Dolly um, lipstick, which again is just a naked colour. Very, very nice. Uh, Guerlain Rose Lips, which is just a pink colour. It's a very nice flush. It doesn't come off that pink on the lips. And then we have another one of their new ones, which is just the La Petite Robe Noir. We have a Marc Jacobs one here, which is in a beautiful nude colour. Obsessed with it. Um, I love their gel lipsticks. Then this is a little Bite Beauty one in Palmagrello or something. I think it's called. I can't remember. Palmagrello. And it is a beautiful, bright sort of fuchsia. We have a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the red one. We have a Sigma pink gloss and also a NARS neon pink gloss as well. Going into the next drawer down here, it is again more lipsticks, could you guess? I think the first three drawers are actually lipsticks, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got my next ones over here. We have three of the butter lipsticks right here. Um, and then we have one of the regular matte ones at the back. And then I then have my Color Riche by L'Oreal um, lip balm. I have a Color Whisper, two Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses, four of my MAC ones, and I keep the rest of them up top, which I'll show you afterwards. This is my new Maybelline Vivid Matte Lipstick. I am obsessed with this color. It is so beautiful. I have two Lime Crime ones at the back here, another MAC limited edition Rihanna one, and then I have six Wet n Wild lipsticks. This last one, though, is a limited edition by Fergie, and it's a nude one. It is, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I loved it, honestly. And then I have the last one in here, which is a Milani Black Cherry. It's a very dark, very dark, like, ready pink. Um, which is very, very nice as well. So that's this drawer. The next drawer down is, I think, no, there's four drawers actually of lipsticks. I do apologize. <laughs> I know it's getting out of hand. Um, but this is what we're working with. So I have got rid of a couple of my Gerard Cosmetics lip glosses because I wasn't using all of them. But these ones are the ones I actually love using. And of course, if you guys haven't seen these before, they open up and then they have a light, if you can see that right there. So they're quite cool and they're really good to take out with you on a night out. I then have four MAC lip glasses here, or lip gloss, lip glass, from their do -do -do Christmas collection. I got in a set, and then I have two of Guerlain's limited edition lip glosses, and these are both really nice and iridescent ones. And then, for some reason, I have two random ones in the back here. I just have the NARS Orgasm lip gloss, a mini version, and the Stila Stay All Day vinyl lip gloss. This is quite a thick lip gloss, but it is good if you need something to stay all day. Final lip drawer, I promise, guys. I know you're all shouting at me. So, as you can see, I actually haven't even filled these drawers up. I just like having them more organised. So, I have all of my NYX butter glosses here. I love every single one of these. 
always have, always will. They are fantastic products. And we have just got NYX, um, loads of NYX counters popping up in Bristol and all over the UK. So I am very happy about that. Also, we have one of Guerlain's, again, limited edition. Can you tell them into their limited edition stuff? I know. Um, liquid lipstick, so that dries matte as well. And then we have my um, L'Oreal, I think this is uh, just lipstick, but this is a very, very, very nude color, but I use this to sort of, if a color is a little bit too dark, I like to use it to lighten up. And I kept one of my Rimmel Apocalypse because I had a few of these and I chucked a bunch away, but this color, I just couldn't. Look how bright it is. It stains like a mofo though, but it is very good. Um, and then this is what Brittany got me. I could not get rid of it. I love the color. Um, and it's just a quick and easy one to chuck on if you need a color on there. And it is by Jordana and it's the Twist and Shine in Honey Love. And then at the back here, this I go told you guys is purely for collection purposes. It's my green lipstick that turns pink when you swatch it, but it does not. I won't do it for you guys now because it does not come off my hand for about three days when it turns pink. Um, so not that one, but that's just a collector's piece. I have a MAC lip glass. Again, this is never used. It is my two nostalgic pieces I keep here because this one is the first ever MAC product I got my mum bought for me. And it was an advertisement I seen on TV and I really wanted that and I ended up getting it. So that was like sort of a memory. And then these three little things here are just the Gwen Stefani uh, sample lipsticks. I put them there so I definitely will use them because I knew I wanted to try this color. It looks amazing. So that is it. I promise now for all the lipsticks. <laughs> Alright, so the next one, this is the bottom of the five draw first set of five drawers. As you can see, I'm trying to keep them empty-ish. They're not like bursting at the seams, but that's exactly what I wanted. So in here, I just have a few single eyeshadows, a few quads, uh, sorry, trios, and that's about it. So I have my two absolute favourite um, Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadows in Diamond Dog and Zodiac. And then we just have a cult favourite um, Urban Decay eyeshadow. Oh, I got a hiccup. Eyeshadow in Walk of Fame. Um, my three Wet n Wild uh, trios, which again are my favourite. Walking on Eggshells is my favourite, but it's not actually in here. I think it's in my um, my bag I take to my boyfriends because it's just an easy look. It's super easy to do and I'd have much more use of it there. I have two of the Bourjois Intense eyeshadows, which are just really, really glittery. I have a violet one and also a very nice sort of champagne pink one. Um, but I definitely pick these if you're looking for a really, really sparkly eyeshadow. Definitely these. This, again, is a Topshop eyeshadow, but it is amazing. I'd seen nothing like it. I used it as a highlight when I go out to party sometimes. It is really good. My cult favourite, Becca Black. I just, this is meant to be one of the best black eyeshadows. Um, and I love how the little packaging looks like the little highlighter. It's so cute. Um, I bought this for a project I was doing at Halloween. It's the Barry M Dazzle Dust, but it's just a matte red colour. And then the ever famous L'Oreal Infallible in, um, what's it called, Amber Rush, which I had my parents running all over the States for to try and find that for me because it was sold out everywhere. <laughs> Um, and that is just this drawer here. So we're getting to the top of the five drawers now at the bottom. So this one again, as you can see, there's a big bit missing, which is, is room for growth, but in certain areas. So I have four of my favorite powders in here. So I have my Bourjois Healthy Balance, um, which goes really nice with the foundation. Um, and then I also have my Rev Revlon, no, yeah, Revlon Colorstay um, powder in here, which has also just been a cult favorite for about Oh, ever since I started doing makeup, probably about five years. Um, and then my Kat Von D uh, Lock It Tattoo Powder Foundation and also the MAC uh, Select Sheer Press. I don't even know if they still do Select Sheer anymore. I hope they do because I absolutely love this powder. It is perfect. It's not too heavy, but it's not too sheer. Ah, oh, right, down again. So in here is, again, some sort of, I suppose that one could go in my face powders drawer because it is a translucent powder. This is a girl line. It's so heavy. Limited edition as well. Can you believe I like my limited editions? Um, this is just a translucent powder they did, so I should probably actually go ahead and put that one up in here because that is a face powder. Um, and then in here I have some more illuminators and that is just a bronzer. So of course the NYC Sunny Bronzer, it's in here because I use it sometimes, but mainly the ones you've seen earlier are the ones I use more. We have the NYX Illuminator. I love this, I can never get rid of it. It is so sparkly and pretty, oh, love it. And then the Essence Breaking Dawn Gold Highlighter and the MUA Undress Your Skin um, Highlighter as well. 
down to the third last drawer in here. So this is where I keep all of my eyeliners and eye pencils and gel eyeliners, etc. So um, yeah, we've just got sort of all your eyeliners. Um, we have one here which you can see is my new heavy metal liner from Urban Decay. It is so sparkly. I'm trying to keep it in the focus zone, sorry. Uh, it's so sparkly and lovely. And then we just have a whole, honestly, mix. We've got some Benefit in here, Stila. This one is Iris, Eye of the Horus, or whatever it's called. Wet and Wild, Elf. Um, we've got Jordana. Rimmel, Urban Decay, Wet n Wild, NARS, Urban Decay, Makeup Forever, uh, Sephora, Marc Jacobs, Longcom, Estee Lauder, Too Faced, and then all these three at the back here are Sigma, and then my NYX um, gel eyeliner, which is just in black. And that is all my eyeliners. I have an obsession, and they all, believe me, are quite different in formula. So, um, yeah, I do like my eyeliners. <laughs> So the next drawer down here is one of my also favourite drawers. This is my concealer drawers. My, I am a concealer junkie. I wish I could have more than this, but I am limiting myself to the drawer, of course. So in here I've got a NARS stick one. I've got the little pencil one by Hard Candy. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD. The uh, Hard Candy Glamouflage Stick Concealer. Two of the... Maybelline um, Instant Age Rewind and then this one is the anti-fatigue one you can only get in the States. The Collection Lasting Perfection Double Wear Concealer by Estee Lauder, Naked Skin uh, by Urban Decay, NYX HD, MAC Prep and Prime in Briar Rose which is a brightening uh, pen illuminator, the Girl Am Precious Light Illuminator, the new NYX Wonder Pencil which is just a pencil concealer. Um, the L'Oreal Lumi Magique to go with the foundation and then the Hard Candy Light Bright and of course the Hard Candy Famous Glamouflage. Then in the back here I've got a little pot of Sonia Kashuk Concealer, one of my absolute favourites. Um, we have a Primark one and a CoverGirl and Olay and then this is just a sample of the Double Wear one which I will just chuck in a bag if I ever go on holiday or anything. But this is my concealer drawer. Then the final drawer at the bottom, to be honest, is not all that exciting. So I have my brow grooming products in the back here, um, which is just my little blade and my scissors, which I use to trim my eyebrows. And then I have a Sonia Kashuk palette, which is pretty done, to be honest with you, but I keep it for the olive colour. Um, and I do need to get another one of these if I can get my hands on it. And then the e.l.f. Makeup Lock and Seal, which is great for glitters. And also another little glitter glue here from Stargazer, which is their Fix Gel. It's very good. Um, and then an Eyelash Duo Adhesive Glue. A NYX HD Corrector for redness. I have this if I use it on spots. The best ever NYX, uh, not NYX, sorry, Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is one of the best glitter glues out there. In fact, I don't think you can find one any better than this. It is absolutely phenomenal at keeping your glitter on. And I absolutely love the packaging. I can't rant about this enough. And a little eye, um, a little eye, eyelash glue in there as well. And two primer potions. We got a bigger one and a little one there as well. And that is it for the bottom drawer. Okay, so now I've finished the bottom of the drawers here. I wanted to show you what sits at the top. So it's nothing too exciting at the moment. This little spot here I tend to use just to display something like a perfume or a new product. Um, but at the moment I just have my Marc Jacobs Coconut water face primer there because there's just honestly nowhere for it to go at the moment um, and it is one of my favorite products so that one's up front there I then also have in the back here three foundations that won't fit actually in the drawer so that is the only space I also allow for them um, because they're too wide they're basically too thick for the drawers so I have the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and I have two of the Makeup Forever HDs so this is the older one this is the newer one in the back here um, and they're just there. I then have all of these lip liners. These are the True Lips lip liners that I got in my eBay haul. And then this is Estee Lauder, NYX, MAC, and that one I think is a little one in the bottom there is um, Makeup Forever. And then these with the silver caps back here are all Essence lip liners, which are cheap and absolutely amazing. I then have my limited edition um, Sigma five year 
anniversary edition um, brush, which I'm trying to focus in for you, there you go, uh, which has got the rose gold fennel and it has never been used because I'm trying to keep it, like it's a special thing of mine. I have the actual brush, but I just don't want to use the rose gold one. And then I also have this really pretty little Too Faced brush, which I just like to put on display and never use. And then here is my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. This is the newest one I just bought in my eye mats haul. And then back here I have five MAC lipsticks, which are just, again, some of my new ones. So I have my favourite uh, Velvet Teddy. I then also have my Honey Love. Um, I have Twig. I have Hue. And the last one is Chatterbox. And there are all of my MAC lipsticks. And that is everything up here. All right, I know you're at a bit of an angle here. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but we're going to go into the final draw now, which is this big bad boy here. It's just the top one, not all three of them. So if we open this up so you can have a little look. This is just where I keep my blushes, mascaras, and excess eyebrow products, and also some eyeshadow primers and colors in here too. So as you can see, we have over in the first basket over here, just some little um, balms. So these are my favourite two uh, baby lips, <laughs> not Too Faced, baby lips, um, which is lovely. I also have EOS and they're usually the only ones I'll have apart from that one chapstick in cake batter. That's the flavour of it. It is amazing. Brittany got it for me for our swap. Um, and then these containers here are from um, Ikea, the, the acrylic ones, and also this one right here is from Ikea as well. The baskets are just from the pound shop. I do like acrylic storage because underneath, as you can see, I've got a nice sort of floral print um, paper, which I like that you can see through it. But in here, we just have a bunch of my blushes. Again, I got rid of a ton of them. I've only kept the ones I am absolutely in love with and that I know I will completely use. So we've got in this first little pot. There's no reason that it's a different pot. It's just that I didn't have enough space. So... We have two, um, we have a NARS one in Deep Throat, which is one of uh, my favourites. We have an e.l.f. blush. I chucked out all of them apart from this one, which is in, what is it called? Tickled Pink. I've always loved, been very fond of that blush. I then have three other ones in here. So we've got the Tarte um, in Doll Face, the Sigma, one of my absolute favourites of all time, Born to Be, and the Jordana blush as well in here. Um, and they're all just generally really, really good blushes. I then have two of my MAC blushes in here, the only two I have. I then have my two Milani, which are, oh, I can't tell you how much I love those. My Physician's Formula one in here, two Wet n Wild ones, and then this Essence one in the back here that you can see is Ombre. It's a pretty cool, nice one for summer that looks like that. And then I have a Guerlain blush and my Nude Wear by Physicians Formula and you know what I've still never touched this and I've had it for ages so I have to start using it but I just oh, it's so pretty I love the packaging of it how nice is that and then over here in this basket is all products that have been unused so they're all my backup products um, and products that I will use so like this is an extra beauty blender my backup of the Maybelline just all sorts of refill for my girl and etc. In this little container I just have this little pot here which is a Sigma cream eyeshadow in Strike. It is so lovely. If you know MAC Cranberry it looks just like that and I use this with MAC Cranberry all over the top and it is one of the most easiest and effective looks I can ever do. Um, I have a couple of brow bars to go from Whitening Lightning. I have the brow, I have literally used this one so much I've hit pan on it. This is when I had blonde hair because this is the blonde one. Ooh. And then when I got dark hair, I used the dark one. But yeah, I used all the wax, as you can see in that one. And then these two I've hit pan on. Um, one of the best kits ever. You can uh, get that with my link as well. And then this is the new one, which is the darker one. So put the brow bars to go. This in the back here is just the velvet pouches for all of my like YSL and Guerlain products. And then this is my little pot. So I have two MAC paint pots in Let's Skate and Painterly. I then have a Lancome brow gel in number four and I have two Freedom brow gels, one in blonde and one in dark brown and obviously I use the dark brown one now and I don't use the blonde one anymore. And then here is just where I keep my mascaras and my eyebrow products. So I have the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, that's my newest one. I have the Lancome Doll Eyes, um, I have a little mini Lancome Hypnose, another mini Lancome Hypnose. 
Um, the Maxi Lash and the Too Faced uh, Lash Gasm. Again, that's always going to be a cult favourite of mine. The Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes and a little Guerlain sample one there. And then the Benefit They're Real. This is a new one I actually just found I had. And then I have for brows over here. Let me just put these things back. For brows, I've got the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just over here. As always been a favourite. Um, and then I have the new NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I've not actually tried this yet. The Sonia Kashuk Tinted Brow Gel. The Rimmel Brow Pencil. The Soap and Glory Brow Archery. And also the Primark Brow Pencil, which is absolutely amazing for the price. And that is absolutely everything in this drawer, and that is absolutely everything in my makeup collection. So guys, that was everything in my makeup collection today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hoped it was everything you thought it would be and more. Um, so yeah, this is it. I hope you liked the video. If you're new here, obviously go ahead and subscribe. I would absolutely love that. And if you are a subscriber, thanks for being here. I love you guys so much, and I will see you all very soon. Remember to stay beautiful. Ciao.